Hello everybody. How is it going? First live stream from Indonesia. I meant for it to be Jakarta, but life happened and we are here in Yogyakarta. So as always, if you guys could let me know if you can see me okay, if you can hear me okay. I am obviously on a new cell provider, so I'm not sure, you know, what that's going to be like. Hopefully the stream will be good. Um, so I can't see who did it, but somebody already sent in a hundred dollars super chat so thank you so much please let me know um who it was if you guys can see it on your end i do not see it on mine sadly um thank you so much that is so generous um i want to say a very big thank you to michael and alona who sent me a paypal before i started my live stream so thank you guys so much for that as always i hope you guys are doing good um so it looks like you can hear me okay that is good oh thank you very much for coming out harriet and jim we got david here don wheeler Thank you all so much for coming out. So before we, um, oh, hi, Shannon. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Um, so before we get into walking uh, around the city a little bit, first of all, I'm a little bit worried about the weather here. I'm sitting in my hotel, looking outside the doors and it's been weird because when I first got here, the weather was like perfect, sunny, no rain, no nothing. But the last few days, when I actually need to film something, the weather has been like maybe three, four hours in the morning is fine, but then it starts raining all day. So it hasn't been ideal for getting content um, filmed because um, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this, where I've been basically sick for about a week. Um, to be honest, once I even got to Jakarta, I, I just tried to pass it off as jet lag, but I think maybe there's a chance I was even sick then where I just felt like my energy levels were so low. It was so hard to do anything. And when I got here to Yogyakarta, literally like that night, I had a terrible fever. And it pretty much was nonstop for like four days. And then the last three days after that, it's kind of, you know, come down and, I've began to feel better so I'm still you know like a little bit not feeling great but substantially better than I was before so today's actually my last name uh, last name last day in Jogjakarta so I just figured you know I haven't done a live stream yet let me do even a little short one from here because it really is um, a cool place so that's kind of where I'm at. We have so many people here from Indonesia as well. Thank you all so much for coming out. It's been really nice to see the response, you know, from the Jakarta video that I put out. I'm glad you guys liked it. So yeah, I filmed a lot of stuff here in Jogjakarta, but um, that video is probably not going to be out for another couple of weeks and stuff. So um, in the meantime, I'll show you guys just the downtown core um, from where I am right now. So, perfect. Oh, my mom's here. Privyet. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Um, yeah, so we're going to start, yeah, like from my hotel and walk down the street that kind of sort of isn't like a walking street so i'm gonna have to be really you know careful and stuff but uh once we get to the main avenue it'll be a whole lot easier for me to vlog from there so you can do that oh uh, thank you very much to louise for the super chat hi alina good that you are better maybe it was some food no i don't think it was food um because it wasn't anything to do really with my stomach it was more so like, you know, like it's probably like the flu.
kind of symptoms and stuff very high fever throat all that kind of stuff so you know like I said it's been more than a week now so I don't think I'm contagious you know all that kind of stuff so uh, hopefully it's all downhill from here all right guys so I'm gonna flip the camera give you a quick view of the hotel that I am staying at and we are going to head out and I'm gonna show you guys the city so as always when I start my live streams let me actually know where are you guys from and what time is it where you are because right now it is 10 a.m. here in Indonesia and it's tricky because I had some stuff I had to do this morning so I couldn't start any earlier than I did which means it's like 11 p.m. in um, in North, well, not North America, in Toronto or New York and stuff. So it's hard to try and find a time that works or, uh, for both times. All right. Aw. Did I miss a super chat? I think I did. Thank you so much to Harley Moore. Hello, Alina from Orlando. Thank you so much, Harley. That's so kind of you. Good morning, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, perfect. Yeah, so it's it's hard to believe, but this is my first live stream here in Indonesia, even though I've been here for a couple of weeks. Um, I actually had my friend, Shifa Adriana. Some of you may know her. Uh, she's got an amazing travel YouTube uh, channel and she was actually the one that said you know you could do a live stream you know from Jakarta um, even though it is like a little bit challenging just with like trying to walk places uh, but she said that here in Jakarta uh, it would definitely be a lot easier so I do agree with her that Mari I can't talk right now for some reason. The main avenue uh, is definitely a really good place for a live stream. So that's where we're going to be going from today. These are kind of just like the side streets where there's lots of different hotels, little cafes, people set up, you know, little food stands and stuff. So that is where we're at. I get so scared of the scooters though, if, if I'm being honest. They're like so hard to kind of like always keep a watch for. I'm gonna cross the street. What's interesting about being here in Jogjakarta is I've definitely um, seen way more tourists here, which is you know, a little bit surprising because this is a city of only about 500,000 people. So in a way I expected, you know, oh, I should see more tourists in Jakarta, but that really wasn't the case. So, hello, no, thank you. They have all these like rickshaw kind of things for transit here. And that's usually what the people are always asking for. Sorry, sorry if I'm not able to read all the messages right now, guys. I'm like trying to just focus on the traffic here. Actually, has anybody who's watching this right now been to Jogjakarta? I'd be interested to know. And what were your impressions of it? Oh, I do see some live stream or not live stream super chats. Give me one sec, guys. Hello. Yeah, a Canadian. <laughs> that's, like, that's like that's like the top thing that they always ask is like, where are you from? Where are you from? And stuff. Of course, they're trying to get you to go into their shop or something like that. But nice people. Okay, so I want to say a big thank you to 
Oh my gosh, we got a lot here. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm gonna answer the super chats just when I'm like safely away here because it's really not safe for me to kind of stop when I got traffic going in all directions. Once we're on this main street, I can uh, actually let's go across here. All right, here we go, finally. We have some peace. Okay, there, see, foreigner. <laughs> All right, I missed some super chats. Just, I thought I saw, yes. So thank you very much, Sheets of Metal. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much, SFC Paul Fowl, as always. Thank you for coming out, Paul. And then thank you so much to David. Good morning to you from Kitchener, Ontario. Get to see you feeling better, Alina. Thank you very much, David. Much appreciated. And yeah, I I had a moment there where I was like, you know, maybe I should go to the hospital. Um, you know, maybe this is something more serious because it was like, I, I felt terrible. Like I know some people are saying maybe it was COVID and I don't know, maybe it was, but if it was COVID, holy moly, it was way worse than when I had it. guy behaving like a psychopath on the motorbike um I was I gonna say yeah it was way worse than when I had it um in like Ukraine or whatever kind of around this time last year like that was nothing compared to what I went through so whatever it was I hope the worst is behind me so to say um thank you very much to Carolyn Boston thank you so much for the super chat and then I saw another one from Louise thank you very much uh, he asks is it easy to communicate in English there in Jakarta um, I mean this is a joke Jakarta but yeah I mean in in Jakarta similar to here I was actually very impressed that people's English levels you know were quite good so um, of course if you go to like the parts of town where tourists don't go more than likely you know the locals there aren't going to speak English but if you're staying in these kinds of places um, it's actually surprising you know just how many people speak English and also how well they speak English I always you know give huge props to anybody who knows oh my god <laughs> who speaks more than one language so yeah lots of Indonesians speak very good English it's very impressive so guys um, where we are right now is the main drag of the city called Maliobro and it's this really long street where the top of it is just right there we're not going to go all the way to there but that's where the train station is that's how you get into the city that's how I got here from Jakarta so um, it continues to extend all the way down here all the way to the main palace which is where we are going to walk to today and this place actually really comes alive at night where everybody's you know off work and like socializing with their families but of course today is also Sunday so already today is you know quite busy because of that if you came here on like a Monday morning it probably wouldn't be as busy so that is that so thank you very much for the super chat dark brother hello Alina how much was your plane ticket from Canada to Jakarta hopefully prices have come down with lower fuel prices um, so you guys you know how Europe has kind of been like the go-to destination uh, this year everybody and their dog wants to go to Europe now that COVID restrictions have kind of lifted there so it's insanely the tickets to Europe were insanely expensive when I was looking even though I knew I wanted to go to Asia, I just like looked and I was like, no, definitely not doing Europe this time of year. Um, so when I was looking at different destinations in Asia from Calgary, Canada, I was shocked actually what good prices they were. So I was able to get my ticket for 700 Canadian dollars. That's about 600 US. And that's with like really good airlines, really good connection times, you know, two check bags. So that's a steal of a deal for 
a one-way fare in my opinion like sometimes they charge you that much to fly across Canada so yeah I got a very good ticket for a very budget friendly price uh, thank you so much to Harriet and Jim my brother lives in the Golden Triangle in Jakarta we have been to Joke Jakarta and enjoyed our time there wonderful yeah no this is definitely a very interesting part of the world and Java Island in general has so much to see so that's cool he lives here so thank you guys so much for coming out as always hope you're doing good Katsu thank you very much hi Alina I can hear and see you well enjoying your lunchtime live stream from Tokyo that is awesome thank you so much Katsu I guess we're more on the same time frame than before Aw, and thank you so much to Henry. You guys are so sweet for coming out. Thank you. Uh, Alina, thank you for live streaming from Indonesia and it's nice to see you again. Thank you, Henry. I hope you're doing good. So nice to see all my friends on here. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, all right, guys. No, thank you. No, thank you, I'm live streaming. All right, guys, um, so let's get to it. Let's head on down. We'll start in the inner part of the street because they have lots of cool shops and restaurants down here. And they have um, the special kind of shirt that is like famous uh, here in Jogjakarta that they make. I think the style is called Batik. You'll see a shop like just right here. Yeah, Batik, Roobini. These types of like traditional shirts and the patterns themselves are made from a type of wax, I guess, from my understanding. Maybe a local um, could explain it in the comments, but that's like something that is um, special to Jogjakarta, so. You'll see shops of that kind everywhere. And these little bun things as well are quite popular. There's a lot of different stores that sell that. Um, but what Jogjakarta is probably most well known here and what I technically came uh, to see here primarily is these two really beautiful temples. Uh, one is called Borobudur and the other one is Pravnam. Actually, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It starts with a P. One's a Hindu temple, one's a Buddhist temple. Uh, they are both kind of like a half hour drive outside of the city. So that is usually like the main attraction that people come to Jogjakarta for. Yes, from Banan. There we go. That was an extra syllable. I knew I was missing something. Uh, so yeah, lots of people come here to, of course, see like the city of Jogjakarta. But uh, the temples that are just outside of the city are 100% something you have to check out. So let's see here. There's even a Starbucks. How exciting. Thanks for coming out, Ukraine dude. <coughs> oh. Aw. Thank you very much for the super chat, Ross Fox. Glad you're feeling better. My wife and I watch you from Atlanta, Georgia area. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you very much, guys. Silvio, thank you very much for the super chat. Very kind of you. Uh, one thing that makes me sad that uh, my sickness has kind of, you know, gotten in the way of is um, me 
not only spending way more time here in Jogjakarta than I planned, like I've been here, yeah, over a week now. So that basically means that for me to catch my flight from Surabaya to Bali to then extend my visa, I'm actually gonna stop while I tell you guys this. Um, it basically means that I had to miss out on Malang, which is where Mount Bromo is, which is like one of the top things that I wanted to do um, in Indonesia, which was to climb a volcano and Bromo's like the top place to do that. Uh, but at this point in time, I just don't, I don't have the time. I have to get to Surabaya to catch my flight soon. I have to extend my visa. So I'm gonna have to miss, you know, that part of the trip, which really sucks. I'm seeing if maybe there's a way that I might be able to, I guess, backtrack once I'm already in Bali. Like it is on the more like West Coast or whatever, if I wanted to do Bromo. So I guess if I really wanted to, I could come back, but just sucks because I kind of had like an itinerary of, you know, everything that I was going to do when, but then you get sick and, you know, that kind of erases me being able to have the time to do it and trying to push my body too much right now really isn't a good idea so it makes me sad that I basically have to miss bromo because I got sick this time around oh thank you so much to Carolyn hi Alina I'm your avid fan from the Philippines and also a female solo traveler and you inspire me in so many ways keep it up oh thank you so much Carolyn that's such a sweet comment Thank you so much for that and hope you're having a great time in the Philippines. You're very brave to be, uh, you know, traveling as we do, the ladies going solo. So you should be very proud of yourself and I hope you have a wonderful time. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. Uh, I saw a super chat here from Martin. Thank you so much. As always, I see you flew west. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, as you flow east to Thailand, which was easier? Um, I can't remember now how jet lagged I was when I uh, when I flew to Thailand because I went through Turkey. That was a long trip. Definitely flying to Thailand was worse than the way that I flew this time around. But the jet lag this time was honestly terrible. Or me being sick. I don't know what it was, but. I'm just saying my recovery from the flight was terrible. So <coughs> um, I guess probably, yeah, flying of course west is easier, but I think me just not feeling well didn't make for it to be easier. All right. Uh, and no, uh, good, good question by Nanika. Can you extend your visa in Jogjakarta immigration? So, mm, I'll explain it actually while we walk. So here's the thing, with extending your visa in Indonesia, I thought it'd be similar to Thailand where like you just show up at an immigration office, maybe you have to sit around and wait for your turn for an hour or two, then you pay your fee and as long as you didn't do any criminal activities, they extend your visa. That's usually how it goes, right? Here, not so much. <laughs> Uh, from what I've read, you need to have, if you're doing it by yourself, you need to have three different meetings at an immigration office of, you know, wherever you are. So that basically means that you need to be, you know, in that location for at least three or four days as a minimum. Usually they said leave at least a week to get it done. So obviously I've been sick this whole time and I don't want to wait like another whole week to try and do it here. And second, it is just so much more complicated to do the whole process yourself. So a nice service that they have in Bali is that you can get these sorts of agencies to basically do all the main groundwork for you. And you just have to go in for one appointment where they take your fingerprints, take your picture or something like that. And you know, basically you get your visa extension in a much easier way for like an extra 50 60 dollars so i've decided to do that because there's so many agencies in bali having so many foreigners um, to help me with that 
uh, here in Jogjakarta, as far as I know, I haven't seen any of those kinds of agencies because not a lot of people, not a lot of foreigners, I should say, extend their visas here. So that is why I'm not going to extend it here. I think it'll just be easier for me to extend it in Bali and have some help. So that is what that's about. I wish it was easier because then, yeah, I could spend longer here, but I think it'll just be easier to extend it, you know, in the places where there's a lot of foreigners and they're used to extending those kinds of visas. Uh, thanks for the super chat, Louise. Uh, are there any COVID restrictions in Indonesia? Uh, yes, yes, definitely. Definitely compared to like North America or Europe, it is far more restrictive here in the sense of like, well, you have to be vaccinated to enter the country and then you you don't need a booster to enter the country but you need a booster to take any kind of um you know domestic travel so to take a train or to take a domestic flight you have to have a booster shot or take a covid test so that was the reason that i decided to get a booster before i left canada because i don't want to have to pay for a test you know every single time I try and do something and then I was also worried that uh, maybe they'll change the rules you know while I'm abroad and uh, I'm not able to you know get a booster or something so there are those kinds of restrictions and then as you can see lots of people are wearing masks so you know Asia in general is just much more cautious about COVID than uh, North America or Europe um, Thank you so much to Rahul for the very kind super chat. Enjoy your time in Indonesia and take care. Thank you so much, Rahul. That is so generous of you. Thank you for supporting my channel. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to all the amazing things there are to see and do here. Sure, I'm a little bit sad about Bromo, but you know what? There's so many other great things that I'm gonna see and do, so it's not the end. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rahul. I hope you're doing well. Oh, and thank you so much to Harriet and Jim, as always. Our prayers are with the people of Saskatchewan who suffered uh, a loss in such a terrible tragedy. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, there's not many words for that. Let me actually just sit down for a second because I'm <coughs> a little winded and that is definitely such a tragedy. Um, that happened this past week um, in case you didn't you know hear about it on the news basically there was a mass murder that happened in Saskatchewan the province that I grew up in Canada and it's, it's just sick it's just sick where these you know two men basically went around you know stabbing innocent people in a community that's like literally you know less than an hour's drive from my hometown technically like where I where I grew up Canistano and stuff and um, you know I, I didn't know any of the people personally but you know like they're in that community and I can't imagine what their family and friends are going through so things like that just don't really you know happen in uh, <laughs> that they don't really happen in you know Saskatchewan it's such a small tight-knit quiet peaceful community so um, just horrible you know so um yeah so thank you thank thank you for acknowledging that harriet and jim and yeah i hope for peace and healing for all the families that were affected by that just nuts um oh i actually see my friend lane in here thank you so much for coming out lovely so sweet oh yeah, geez, I am winded. Definitely still recovering. But nevertheless, we do have to keep going because um, I, huh? No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, so, what was I going to say? So, yeah, see, I still got like brain fog. My brain is not computing at the same level just yet. So, I have to 
do some filming at the end of this street for my video that I wasn't able to get to yesterday because it's been like pouring rain. Um, and then I have to have a quick lunch before I have to go catch my train to Surabaya. So it's like I got a bunch of stuff happening today so I can't actually take too much time to stop. So let's keep on going my friends. Let's keep on keeping on. No, thank you. Alright. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, Asia, like, um, like I mean, some countries in Asia <coughs> are still, you know, closed right now. Obviously, like Japan and China and stuff. But it's going to be interesting to see if 2023 is finally going to be the year where, like, everything, every country finally opens up. That would be so cool. Oh my goodness, Mark from the UK, thank you so much for coming out, 4.30 a.m. there. Good morning to you. <laughs> That's great. Got another one of these bun things, Bakpia Patnok. Interesting. I don't know what they're filled with. Can anybody tell me what they're filled with? I haven't tried them yet. And over here, as you guys can see across the street, there's like a market going on. We've got people playing some music. Got some other foreigners coming our way. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So Sichuan says Bekpia is one of Joke Jakarta's traditional cakes. Sometimes cheese, mung bean, red bean is the famous filming, fill, filling for bakpia. Okay. I guess that's kind of similar to some of the like cakes that they have in Japan. They usually have like bean fillings as well. Huh. Uh, thank you for the super chat, Louise. Alina, do you know the name of these male shirts that are Indonesia? They are cool. Uh, it's batik, I think. Batik is the, with a with B, I mean, uh, is the wax shirt. Yeah. All right. Actually, guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to freaking get to the palace here. Just walking through here. I'll take you as far as I can go. They might be, yeah, they're putting on some kind of show today or something. <coughs> As you guys can probably tell, I get a lot of people wondering what the heck I'm doing. I don't think there's a lot of people that like you know, live stream <laughs> from Joke Jakarta, probably. Like, what is this white girl doing? Think, oh, this is a church, I think. Yeah, Christian church. 
interesting. There aren't just so many different religions in Indonesia. I mean, there's so many, you know, backgrounds of people who live in Indonesia and so many languages spoken in Indonesia, which is also interesting. Uh, I had hired a driver to like take me to, no, thank you, uh, to the temples and stuff. And he was saying how like, of course, anybody who lives in Indonesia, you know, will speak you know, Indonesian, but um, every island or every area also usually has its own like, you know, dialect and stuff and, you know, kind of has their own language for that region as well. So I think it's impressive that probably a lot of people speak you know, a couple different languages at the very least. There's a few different, like, um, the word I'm looking for like official like government buildings here behind all of like these gates here as well and G20 is coming up that's going to be in Bali that's a cool building I think G20 is happening in November though so I am going to be in Bali for October but I won't be there for November so won't get to see Putin. What a freaking shame. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, Jacoby says Jogja has now started to enter the rainy season. Usually it starts to rain in the afternoon. Really? I thought it was still supposed to be the dry season because I, I specifically, you know, tried to come here when it's not rainy season. So uh, it has been sad to kind of have most of the afternoons be pouring rain that I can't film anything. Oh, so guys. This is kind of the main downtown city square and uh, yeah, many of the stuff, many of the places here in Jogja are UNESCO World Heritage Sites, like especially the temples obviously. So very special places in Indonesia. But to be honest, I think I'm actually going to end my live stream here because uh, I'll be honest and say I'm not feeling that great. I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded for some reason, so I swear I was feeling better, but now I'm back to not feeling so great. And uh, I think I need to go get like a drink of water and just like sit down for a bit and stuff. I think my voice also isn't used to um, talking so much. So I apologize that I'm not able to do more. Usually I do my two hour, you know, live streams and we go on many adventures, but I think I kind of got to let myself uh, recover before that happens. So I'm still glad that we were able to do this. I really want to thank you all for coming out. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. And uh, yeah, new video will be out this next week. So I'm sending you guys lots of love. Hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. I'll see you later, guys.